بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ویلکم ٹو علیز بالجی ان دس ویڈیو وی ول ڈسکس اباؤٹ دا ریلیشن شپ آف بالجی ٹو ادر سائنسز ان آڈر ٹو میک اٹ سمپل آئی ہیو میڈ فلو چارٹ فار یو ہیئر یو کین سی دیٹ بالجی ہیز بین لنکڈ ٹو فائیو مین برانچز آف سائنس وچ انکلوڈ کیمسٹری جیوگرافی اکنامکس فزکس اینڈ میتھمیٹکس Now, starting with the chemistry. Okay, you know that chemistry, it is the study of the chemical reactions. But here we are concerned with the living organisms. So, the study of the chemical reactions which are taking place inside the body of living organism, that is called as biochemistry. Many of the chemical reactions, they are taking place inside the body of living organism. Out of them, the most important are photosensis and respiration. So photosensis, it is a type of chemical reaction which takes place inside the body of plants. By means of this photosensis, the plants make their own food. While respiration, it is a type of chemical reaction which takes place in the body of all living organisms. By means of respiration, the living organisms, they break the food in order to release the energy. And that energy will be utilized by the living organism for its different activities. Then second, geography. Geography is basically This, the distribution of anything on the earth but here we are concerned with the living organisms so the distribution of living organisms on different parts of the earth that is called as biogeography then economics economics is related to the loss or benefit but here we are concerned with the living organisms So if we utilize the living organisms and we get the loss or benefit, so that is called as bioeconomics. For example, we get the loss or benefit by planting the crops from the animals in the form of milk, in the form of meat, we can take the benefit, we can take, we can uh, get the loss. Okay, then physics. If we apply the principles of physics in the living organism how that different bo body parts they their movement is related to the principles of physics for example movement of muscles and bones if we apply the principles of physics in the movement of these muscles and bones so that will be included in biophysics Then the last one is mathematics. Now if we apply mathematics in biology, so that is called as biometry. Normally in biology, we, we utilize mathematics or biometry for biological problem. Like for example, we have the biological problem like malaria. So in a certain area, we have 1000 uh, we can say 11000 people are there in a certain area and out of them 10000 they are healthy while 1000 they are malarial patients so in order to make it in the simpler form in the ratio form so it will be like 10 ratio 1 10 ratio 1 it represents that 10 people they are healthy while one out of 11 they are malarial patients so whenever we talk about the uh, biometry it means that we are concerned with some biological problem and in order to make the highest uh, number into the simplest form so that's that will be a biometry i hope so that you understand thank you very much